Hello, this is Big Boss Rescue Chief of Humane Emergency Animal Rescue. Welcome to our series, Animal Rescue Postmortem, where we analyze the good, the bad, and the ugly of animal rescues throughout the world. Volume 7, video number 6. Let's get right to it. Uh, this is going to be a quick video here. This is expertly done ice rescue. This is what it looks like when you are properly trained and properly equipped to go out on ice. Yeah, I'm surprised that they don't have some type of like ice cleats on the bottom of, of their boots on that dry suit there in order to walk out on that ice without slipping. slipping. Uh, but you can see how, how he's having difficulty getting traction there. But this is a pontoon device that's sort of open in the middle there so that you can go right up over top of somebody. And then the rescuers can stand up on this platform and reach down and get somebody out of the water like that. Or out of the, out, out of the ice. This deer is like... What's Bambi doing? It's just going on for the ride. Use your oar. Alright. So this is somebody who likes animals. Yeah, get off of the, get off of the ice. No, he's not coming after you, bro. He just can't get his foot footing. You ever been on ice and had that happen to you where you couldn't get back up again? Uh, I had that happen to me in Wisconsin. I slipped on the sidewalk uh, shoveling snow and I couldn't I couldn't get up. I had to crawl over to the yard where there wasn't any ice. <laughs> and then roll over into the to yard and then I could get myself up. The thank you and then the goodbye. That's expertly done, except by the idiots who put that st these, these stupid texts up on the video here. So you got this, this ice rescue pontoon boat, and then you've got this guy, he's in his dry suit. He's got his proper PPE on. The only thing I don't see, in, unless I'm missing it, let me put my glasses on. I don't see a personal flotation device on a PFD. Maybe maybe it blend is blending in with the suit, but I, whenever I'm in water like this, I want a PFD on me. So if something happens, if I if a person's around me or something, and I can't be pushed under and, and stay under the water, I can float. So if I get in. It, excuse me. If I get injured, or whatever the possibilities are. You need to have a personal flotation device in there. So I'm going to give them a four stars for that because this team here should know better than to send somebody out on the water like that. They've got all the equipment here. So four stars. Happily ever after. Do all the stuff that it says there to do on the YouTube. You should know that by now. You should know that by now. What you're supposed to do up on the YouTubes. And then you got to get that little pet in there. This person's an animal lover. And then, um, yeah, I think he's misunderstanding what's going on with that deer there. I think he thinks it's coming towards him, but um, it's just trying to get its footing. And then go over to the website, our, our personal website, our personal website, the organization's website. Go over there and uh, check it out. It's a secret. I can't tell you what's over there. The only way you can find out is you've got to go over to the website. Click around. You'll find something over there of interest, I hope. The disaster and preparedness page would be a really good start. Don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section. And then also, if you have a video suggestion, put your video suggestion there. Um, uh, don't forget to put the link in. And um, four stars out of five. Happily ever after. That's it. See you next time.